Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Tonight's video is in a different location as you can see. And if you've watched any of my other videos, I think it was in one of my, maybe it was in the Boxy Lux video. I was in here, you know, showing some of the products that I got. But I was supposed to film today a makeup look or something fun because I was feeling like I needed to do something fun. But now it is 10, 12, and although that might be early for some of you, I have to get up at the crack of dawn because tomorrow's my first day student teaching. So I thought I would do something a little different tonight. I thought I would take you through my nighttime skincare routine, what I do to, you know, wash my face, take off my makeup. Today I'm wearing minimal makeup, but I'm gonna do what I would have done anyway, even if I was wearing a full face of makeup. So if you want to see how I get unready, just keep watching. That bun was just not cute. All right, so as you can see, my makeup right now is minimal. I have a little bit of mascara, a little bit of bronzer on the eyes. It's faded since I did my makeup at seven o'clock this morning. So what I'm gonna do first is wash my hands because I don't want any of the grime and the dirt from the day to get on my face. So the next part of my nighttime routine would be to use this Green Clean Cleansing Balm by Pharmacy to take off any eye makeup. And there's a tiny little spatula in here, which is nice because that way you don't totally dig your hands into the product. But the issue is then you touch your hand, so you're really contaminating the product. I'm almost out of this, and I was so excited because I love this stuff. I think it works really well to take off eye makeup and waterproof makeup. But the problem is, I read a couple reviews, and a lot of people have found like little bits of plastic in it. And it turns out that this stuff has been formulated with like little tiny micro pieces of plastic in it. I one of I watched an influencer who said in a video that it was formulated with plastic. So even though they actually liked the product, they didn't want to buy it anymore. Also, sometimes if I'm not careful to close my eyes all the way, this stuff gets into my eyes and then like makes it hard for me to see just a little bit. It doesn't hurt my eyes or anything. I think it's pretty non-toxic because you're supposed to use it to clean off your eye makeup. Like sometimes it gets into my eyes and so I have to blink a couple of times to get any excess product out of my eyes. But as you can see, all of my mascara is it's been taken off by the balm. And now my eyelashes are almost totally clean. I just have to rinse it away. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this product all the way up and then I'm going to probably try and find a new alternative. Although they did just come out with a cherry version of this one. Oh, I would have bought that so bad, but I don't want tiny plastic bits on my skin. <laughs> Rinsing off my face now. Now I'm just patting my skin dry. So as you can see, I already look pretty clean. No mascara, no residue. My skin doesn't feel oily or anything. It rinses off pretty well. You have to use a little bit lukewarm water. This product emulsifies really well. So when you put it on your skin and you put water on it, it turns into more of a watery substance and then gets off your skin easily. With a regular oil product, the oil would stay on your skin because oil is naturally hydrophobic, which means that it repels the water. So instead of cleansing your skin, with an oil and then washing it off with water, you would just be left with lots of oil on your skin, which is not what you want. Except for beauty oil, that's the exception. So the next thing I'm gonna do is brush my teeth because I wanna wash off any of the toothpaste residue with my cleanser, and I don't wanna have to put toothpaste on my face after I've washed it. I'm very proud of my teeth. <laughs> never had any braces, knock on wood. I've never had any big problems with my teeth. My dentist says my teeth are really nice. And I've been using baking soda toothpaste. So for a while I was using the Trader Joe baking soda toothpaste, and now I'm using the Arm & Hammer Advanced, you can barely see this because it's so used, but it's the Advanced White Extreme Whitening Toothpaste, and it has baking soda in it. And I find that it really helps to whiten my teeth because I drink a lot of coffee and I drink a lot of tea. And so I'm sure that if I wasn't careful, it would stain my teeth. This stuff has been either helping or not hurting. So that's what I use. 
if I was looking to exfoliate, this would be the time where I would do that. My favorite chemical exfoliant is this Peter Thomas Roth Firm X Peeling Gel. What you do is you put a little tiny bit on your skin and you rub it around and immediately it starts to peel. And although some people think that this is for skin, your dead skin peeling off, it's really not. What it, the gel does is it peels off slowly, but it leaves an enzyme that kind of releases the dead skin off of your face. So it's mostly gel, but hidden inside of that are pieces and particles of your dead skin and rubbing it so that it peels off helps to remove any impurities or any pieces of dead skin because you're already doing that motion. It's a lot less harsh than a physical exfoliant and a physical exfoliant can still be nice because it really feels like you're doing a lot. I notice that it's not, it doesn't leave my skin as smooth and sometimes my skin's a little bit more sensitive the next day. So I prefer this, but it is expensive. So I try to use it sparingly. Okay, and the next step is cleansing. I have a Clarisonic and this is a Clarisonic Mia Prima. And this is their like regular radiance brush head. And right now I've been using this Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioning Cleanser. And I have very sensitive skin, so I have to be careful with the products I use, but here's a secret. I'm not very careful anyway. But I try to pick things for sensitive or dehydrated skin because if I do have an allergic reaction, I get like a terrible rash and I puff up like a goon. But this is gentle and good for sensitive skin and I got this in a boxy charm or a boxy looks. But what I do is I just put like a little bit in here. I just try to fill up like the inner little hole right there with the cleanser <laughs> and then I feel like that's enough. And then I run the whole brush under some lukewarm water just to like activate the soap. I don't know. And then try to drain a little bit of the water off of the thing because when you put it on your face and you turn it on, it does mean that it drips a little bit onto the floor. Usually I do this over the sink. I want to show you what I'm doing. <laughs> and then I rinse my face with lukewarm water. And then I pat, 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 pat. Also, shout out to my brother for making this Clarisonic stand for me. I didn't want to pay like, whatever, $60 for the one that they sell online. And so my brother designed this and printed it for me. And I use it every day to hold my Clarisonic. So you see, now my skin is very clean. It feels dry because I need to moisturize because my skin is both oily and dry. Insensitive. Before I moisturize, I want to tone. And here's what I hear about toning. So toning apparently is supposed to help close your pores after you've gotten all the gunk out of them, but I don't really know. I just know that it's a thing that you're supposed to do, so I do. And my favorite toner right now is this Thayer's Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula, and it's a it's called the Facial Mist. They sell the same liquid just in a bottle that you can, like a regular toner bottle that you can squeeze and put onto cotton rounds. But I've been trying to be a little bit more eco-friendly. So I bought this mist instead and that way I don't have to use any of the cotton face rounds. So I just spray it all over my face. I'm gonna rub it in. It smells really nice. The next thing that I have been really liking, and I think I've noticed a little bit of a difference in my fine lines, but I may just be overthinking it, is this Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. So I subscribe to this app called Influencer, and if you do enough reviews on products and things, they will sometimes send you free products for you to try out and then in order, like, and then you can review them and post them on Sephora. Um, so this camp particular campaign is already over. So if I wanted to like plug the product for more products, the time period is over. But I've been using this because it was free and influencers sent it to me. I'm not special. I didn't receive this because my YouTube channel has gotten some kind of critical acclaim. It's because I wrote a couple of Sephora 
reviews and then they were like, oh, I guess your opinion is valuable. Let us have you try out some new products. But what in essence is kind of in between a serum and a toner. So it's very liquidy, but it has some healing power. It's part of the like 20,000 step Korean skincare routine. And apparently this is totally essential. But what this is supposed to do is it's supposed to protect from pollution. It's supposed to be age delaying. So it's supposed to sort of like help to get rid of any fine lines. And I have just a couple of beady beady wrinkles starting to form because I'm still young, but it's coming. The wrinkles are coming. So I've been trying to use this a little bit just to kind of prevent the inevitable. And I feel like it's lessened the creases under my eyes and a little bit of my forehead. Like this one is still pretty prominent, but I think it's helped just a little bit to maybe lessen them. And they've certainly not been getting any worse. I will use it till the bottle is empty and then probably I will not purchase an essence again, but it makes me feel fancy and it smells nice. Also it has kombucha in the name, so pff, fancy as heck. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my moisturizer and this is a prescription this is actually just used to treat burns usually, um, but my dermatologist was like, this is the best, most sensitive skin friendly moisturizer. So this is Hylotopic Plus Cream, but you can use any really nice heavy duty moisturizer. And that's what I use. And put this a little bit on your skin. I can't tell you the price or anything because you know, it all depends on what insurance you use and, you know, what particular product you get. And I'm not a doctor, so don't take my recommendation, but I'm sure that this has nothing that will hurt you in it, so I can recommend it. But, like, don't go and ask your doctor for stuff like that because that's, this is me doing something that my doctor told me to do. So, because naturally my acne is pretty bad, so I've been trying to be really careful. The next thing I'm gonna use is a beauty oil. Now this says rosehip oil on it, but I've been using this bottle for other oils. So this is a mixture of jojoba oil and the rosehip oil that was once in this bottle. I just like this bottle because it has a dropper. So I've been using this and I usually mix it into my moisturizer, but for some reason, I think my moisturizer mixing in with the oil kind of makes the oil disappear. So I feel like my skin isn't as moisturized as when I put them on separately. So I put this on because I want my skin to just be super soft and hydrated, and jojoba oil is really good for you. This particular one is Aracasia, Pure Essential Oils Balancing Cocoa Oil. Comes in a four fluid ounce bottle and you can buy it on Amazon. And this rose hip seed oil is Kate Blanc Certified Organic Rose Hip Oil. And I also bought this on Amazon. The jojoba oil that I had was a gift from my friend Melanie from work. So thanks Melanie. I don't know if you're watching, but if you are, thank you. The next thing I do is I put on two different acne creams. I'm super allergic to benzoyl peroxide, so I don't use that. A lot of people do, um, I can't. So the two that I use is clindamycin phosphate gel, and that's 1%, and then I also, and then I also use Dapsone gel, which is 5%. These are both prescription. I'm just telling you what I'm doing because I wanted to show you my nighttime routine. Don't use this until you're, unless your doctor tells you. Don't listen to me because I'm just doing what my doctor told me. I've never done this particular technique before, but my doctor told me that it was a good idea for me to put on my moisturizer first and then put on my products. Kind of makes a little bit less product go further because you're just mixing it in. And that completes this look. <laughs> no, that completes my nighttime skincare routine. I change it up with a couple of products every now and then when I run out of you know, cleanser, or if I'm trying to use a new toner or a new beauty oil, then I change some things, but mostly that's been it for the entire summer. And I think my skin looks, well, I have like tiny little blemishes, but for the most part, looks pretty good. Of course, I look like 
doing magical right now because of the oils and moisturizers that I put on my skin. But generally, my redness is lessened and, and my acne is not so bad. With the disclaimer that right now I'm, I look like I'm breaking out just a little bit. I have a couple of little blemishes, but that's normal. But this is a lot better than it was like a year ago. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this very casual, very funny late night video. Make sure that you like and comment and subscribe. Be my friend. Come visit me on my channel more often. I hope you all have a wonderful week. I'm hoping to post this on Friday, but it might go up later this weekend because I might not have time to edit before then. But anyway, have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful week wherever you are, whatever you're doing. And I will see you in the next video.